I guess. Hello, everyone. Um, hello here uh, in the PAX Theater. Hello in Boston. Hello to your viewers, and hello to the Astrogan community outside there. Um, very happy to be here because we have some very cool stuff to show for the very first time ever. Uh, some exclusive things and some insights at YPP about um, development process um, and what we plan to uh, release in the next few months uh, for lots of our games. And I will quickly introduce you to ourselves. Um, my name is Vladi. I'm the social media and community manager at Astragon for five years now. Uh, responsible for all the titles that you are uh, about to see today. And with me is... Raptor. And what you're doing? I have no idea half the time, really. <laughs> Sometimes magic just happens. But you're like, uh, you're streaming, you're um, playing lots of games over the years. Making um, videos on YouTube, yeah, streaming, building, creating. It's good stuff. What are your favorite games? Everything from Astragon Entertainment. That's what, I was, that's what I wanted to hear. That's exactly what I wanted to hear today. Um, but yeah, let's introduce the company, I guess. Um, yeah, you've seen us. We are Astragon. Um, we are actually part of Team 17. Um, you might see it with my lanyard. And we've been here for like 20 years now. Like, we are old. We are very old now. Me too. Um, and we're developers and publishers of uh, what we call technical working simulation games. Uh, I mean... Simulation games are not a niche stronger by now. I think that there are some very popular out there. Oh, yeah. Some are special. Um, I don't know how many of you have played a simulation game before, like a simulator. Actually, quite a bunch. Okay, interesting. But who has seen at least one? Oh, that's good. Perfect. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah, what we call technical working simulation games stuff that is um, very highly detailed and like in realistic game environments and also like with official licenses, for example. Uh, we will showcase some of them later. Uh, and that's what we try to establish in our simulation games. Um, and so far we have succeeded quite well, I would say. Um, I will showcase some of our titles we have released over the years. Uh, some of our biggest IPs and franchises at the moment. Uh, Bus Simulator, for example, is a long-standing one. Firefighting one uh, is Firefighting Simulator is quite huge as well. Recently, um, we've taken over uh, Wayward's Online mm -hmm. um, and also have shared Tram Simulator with the people. But our focus today is Police Simulator Patrol Officers um, and Construction Simulator, uh, and in particular Construction Simulator 4, because we recently announced um, three big things for these two franchises. First, the Highway Patrol expansion from Police Simulator Patrol Officers. Um, it will include lots more action, I would say. It looks like it. It definitely looks like it. It definitely looks like it. We have a car chases, we have uh, pit maneuvers, we have uh, fleeing drivers, um, we have burning cars. Uh, spike traps. Spike traps, roadblocks, yep. and so on. Uh, so everything the community has asked for, we have that. Um, then we announced, uh, we announced Construction Simulator 4 for Switch and uh, iOS and Android. Um, these have been requested for a while because the last time we uh, released um, a Construction Simulator game for mobile is, I think, five years ago. Wow. It's been a while, um, and our message... We received so many messages straight up asking when it's coming out, when it's coming out, when it's coming out. Um, <laughs> especially in some... Like, we have people who are only playing mobile games right. and they only want to have their game on mobile. So we're kind of forced to do that. But um, we're very happy to finally have it here. And then we have new content for the other Construction Simulator title. Uh, don't be confused by the naming. Um, the other Construction Simulator title is just called Construction Simulator and is available already for PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. And we announced the Season Pass at the Year 2 Season Pass a while ago um, and we'll showcase what it's all about. Oh, yeah. Later. Very good. But I would say we start with our first game today, um, which is... Police Simulator? Exactly. Um, you already see, yeah, the Highway Patrol expansion we've announced last week, uh, and 
this is stuff people have been asking for for a while, mm -hmm. for a long time. A long right now. time. Um, but let me quickly introduce you to the game. If you don't know it yet, obviously I hope you all do. Uh, but Police Simulator is basically yeah, it's a simulation game, and it's focused on the uh, role of a patrol officer on a city uh, of a city that's. Well, do you know what the city is based on? Feels just like Americana in general, but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Maybe Boston? Maybe Boston, because that's exactly what it is. Yeah. We, it's not a one-to-one -one, uh, recreation, but we are heavily inspired yeah. by it. For example, by like the more brick, what are called? Bricks? Yeah, red brick buildings. Red brick buildings, yep. yeah, exactly. Um, but also like the downtown and the harbor and so on. Right. Uh, kind of influenced by that. Um, and we're going to emphasize also, like, it's not, it's obviously about patrol officers. Um, that's why it's in the name and not about SWAT units or FBI analysis. So actual day-to-day -day patrolling uh, right. in communities. Um, yeah. And it has released in June 2021 for PC and early access. You have the full release in November 2022, then also for consoles. Uh, you have started playing it, I think, in early access or before even. Yeah, even before. Yeah, I think you have like one week or two weeks ago uh, before the release, you already played it and you've seen like people being hyped for it because such a game didn't exist then. Yep. Um, so we're kind of unique with that. Uh, yeah, and our approach with the game always has been constant updates, all based on community feedback um, because we want to walk, we never released an early access game before. That was our very first time and we didn't know what people would really expect because such a game hasn't existed yet. Um, and that's why we decided to go on early access. And all the features we introduced were all wished for by the community. And the Highway Patrol expansion is also influenced by it. Um, to get the elephant out of the room, I know police is a difficult topic in some areas. Uh, we all know how things are going in real life. Um, but we very early on said that we want to discourage violence. Um, I will show you one example later in the gameplay footage of the patrol expansion. Um, so if you do anything against the law or simply against the rulebook, you get kind of, kind of punished in-game for that. Uh, but, yeah. And the highway patrol expansion, there's a lot of stuff. The highway is huge. You have new tasks and violations. Um, we'll see, we showcase a bunch of them today. You have many new tools like a fire extinguisher or spike strips, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. And, oh, and also introducing uh, tactical driving like pit maneuvers and uh, other mechanisms. But quick uh, look into the map. Uh, what you see is the gray blob is basically what we've had so far. And everything else is basically what's new. And it got, it got quite a lot bigger. Yeah, that's, that's almost double. It's almost double, yeah. I think it's even more than double. It, it looks like it could be. Yeah, yeah. Ob obviously we have like, lots of stuff on there, um, but we showed in the footage. And I would say we don't wait. We jump into that, right? I think we should do that. Let's go. Oh, wrong video. Yeah. Our tech hasn't been working today. No worries, last minute. And there we go. Where are we? Uh, that's the Brighton Police uh, Department. And where do you think are we right now with the precinct? Uh, well, there's quite a few of them, aren't there? Is, it, is this the new one? This is actually one of many precincts. Um, we have quite a few on the highway. Um, as you can see, it's like oh. located right next to the highway, basically. And there we also already have one of our two new put, uh, police yes. cars. Um, it's a bit old school. Right. That looks great. I mean, you have... Did, I mean, I haven't had watched, like, old American movies, I must say, but... These are kind of close, I guess. Yeah, 80s and 90s. If you've seen, uh, like, uh, Blues Brothers before, you've seen this. Yeah. I'm, kind of, uh, I'm not sure if we have sound, actually. Do we have sound? Okay. For this video, we don't have sound for some reason. Okay, weird. Um, it worked, like, a second ago. But let's see. Um, yeah, we're on the highway. And... We already see a broken down car. It's also like one of the new events. And that's what the uh, fire extinguisher is for? The vehicle fires? Uh, yeah, um, not exactly. No? These are just uh, broken down. You don't need to uh, get like 
fire extinguisher going mm. on, but there are actual fires um, which you will be able to see there. Okay. Uh, and we can do all the stuff we can also do in the city, like pacing. Yes. And sometimes that's necessary. But now we are actually going for something else. We're going to a waste station because we have trucks. Really? Trucks are new. Oh, they're not a broken down car. Yeah, there are quite a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. They can't drive at all in the city. I mean, you have probably had some weird accidents going on as well. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, wow, construction too. Construction sites too, yeah. We wanted to make that a little bit more uh, living. Is that randomized? Um, everything is randomized, yeah. Really? Um, I think that's like basically the uh, nature of the game, kind of. Uh, that stuff is happening, uh, happening randomly. That's by, by the way, as a disclaimer, that's why we have like pre-recorded footage, because stuff can happen at any time, and then stuff can get out of hand. And right. I had situations which were interesting. Um, for example, I had a drug dealer, and that drug dealer got driven over by a car. Then I had an accident. I had to call EMS and so on. Wow. That yep. escalated quickly. Escalated very quickly, yeah. Uh, and that's what we call it. We, we call it the footage in advance so we can cut it together a little bit. Uh, and otherwise, if we would be very unlucky, we wouldn't be able to showcase you anything of what we want to show. So we want to avoid that. But that's a base station. Yeah. Um, trucks should drive safely. Right. And that's why we need to check on the trucks. Um, and every single wow. truck is basically forced to go there. Sure, we have to do the pay uh, paperwork. Um, let's see if the driver has actually taken a pause or like. Here. It's still in their limits. So you're checking their uh, schedule to make sure that... Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're wow. We're checking the schedule. Um, the, we're checking what the goods inside are. And right. What it's supposed to have inside. Um, so manifests have to match. A little bit of yeah. uh, kind of a... Almost like a border patrol crossing in a way. Yeah, kind yeah, of. A lot of that stuff involved there too. Yeah. So go, going beyond checking just for weight... You're looking for maybe vehicle damage? Is that a thing um, to look for as well? Obviously, that's always uh, something that we need, you need to look out for. Mm -hmm. um, the actual weight is obviously important because yep. we need to check if they are allowed to drive there. If they're like way overboard, right. we have to take care. Um, and in that case, they are actually overweight. I, I've seen that in the, uh, there's a monitor. Okay. Like, uh, we've walked past it a bit. Uh, right, the scale. Ago. Yeah, there's a scale. Yep. And the limit, I think, it's is 60K plus minus 5% or something like that. That's tolerance. And the she had, like, 70K. But so a citation. Yeah. Find an amount between $250 and $750. Oh, he's actually re reading it all out. He's reading it all out. Yep. And I think she had something in there that did not the belong there. Walk to the side um, bus tickets, for some reason. And that was undeclared cargo, so we got to arrest her for undeclared cargo, I guess. Really? Because it wasn't declared. The law is a law. I guess so. Yeah, obviously we accompany her to the uh, to sidewalk. Um, always important to take a DUI test to check if she's maybe drunk or whatever. And she's within her limit because the limit is 0.08, mm. I think. So in theory, she's fine with that. It's all good. Um, and we can press several charges and. Maybe we're not that happy with her. Uh, maybe she did something wrong. <laughs> right. So we can't press we'll charges. Now for um, drug and that's what I meant. We deliberately choose so, uh, chose something different. Mm -hmm. And that's obviously unjustified. Back what does it mean? Well, that means we're getting in trouble then. We got uh, our conduct points deducted. Right. We have 100. And we now we uh, were calling an arrest transport even even worse, because now she's going to prison. Right. <laughs> and we shouldn't have done that. Yeah, that's right. We shouldn't have done that. And that's where you get getting um, contact points deducted, and if you lose too many of them or do something very crazy, like shoot someone, you simply, yeah, you lose your shift, 
and the shift is over. All the experience points, you got the shift points, they're gone, and you have to start the sh uh, shift all over. Wow. Is, um, that's where you're going to see the fire. Oh, okay. Uh, major accidents. Um, you get called all the time uh, if something happens. For example, an accident, we uh, actually said, yeah, we're going, uh, we're going, to, go there. Uh, we're going to go there. Um, but sometimes stuff can just happen right in front of you. Yeah, and it can also escalate yeah. crazily. What's the craziest thing that's ha happened to you? <laughs> Probably like four accidents in a row on the same street, just constantly clearing cars. Just all running into each other? Yeah, you know, you get to your last car and then four more cars run into that one and you got to clear it all over again. Oh, yeah, there, there it is. There it already is. Yeah, there are quite a few cars involved. Wow. Oh, yeah, there are quite a few cars involved. That looks bad. Um, we could, in theory, get into our trunk and then get barriers, for example. Really? Um, that was something we introduced a while ago. I think we see them here, maybe, in the tool section. Uh, oh, no, we don't have them equipped. We have the spike strips and the fire extinguisher. We don't have any barriers. Okay, that's fine. So you can customize your loadout then in the back of the police car? Uh, you yeah. Okay. Uh, you can do it in the garage, basically, mm -hmm. and you can uh, do There's it for every single car in the video. Oh, that's bad. I will take care of it. Yeah, that's a fire. That, that's, that's bad. Thankfully, we have our fire extinguisher, and we need to basically... It's kind of first aid in a way, right. because we don't want to get things out of hand. So we just need to be a little bit precise. And let's hope. It's all gone in a bit, but yeah, it's getting smaller, but still a little bit. A little bit. Is that unlimited, or would you have to re-equip another one back at the station? Um, I've, I'm actually not 100% sure, because I've never got to the limit where I actually uh, could have emptied it. Yeah, now we need to make sure that we have the evidence, uh, because obviously someone has done something wrong. Right. So we're collecting the evidence. Gonna take nice little bit pictures. And you see at the left there's a progress bar because um, the accident report is basically finished at a point. Yep. Um, and the more stuff you add. Yeah, the more that you take pictures, the more complete the report. Yeah. Now, is this also uh, something for co-op as well? Uh, yes, it has, um, it has co-op um, for like only two people, um, for you and a partner. Mm -hmm. um, and you can do all the things then simultaneously or split up. For example, right. you can have both your own cars and then slip the task. One can interview the uh, accident witnesses. One can just take pictures. One can pick up stuff um, or like call for, a, uh, call for a tow truck and right. search the vehicle. Uh, right now, we obviously have some of them here. Wow, that is a mess. That is a mess. That is a big mess. So if a friend was playing in their own police car, they could then show up later, secure the scene. Yeah, and assist with photos. And exactly, get people, exactly. Uh, out of there. So things are probably much uh, like much faster if you split between you. Very dynamic too. Because yeah. Then they can come from a different angle. Plus, with the highway, you'll have to find places yeah. to pull a U-turn or some other on-ramp, off-ramp to get to Definitely. where you got to go. Very cool. That's actually new. Um, that stuff laying on the ground. You need to pick that up. Uh, what was that? Just debris. Uh, yeah, just debris. Wow. Uh, you need to yourself. pick it up because otherwise some people might drive into that and uh, you don't want to avoid that. So that'll cause more accidents if you don't do that. That could cause more accidents, yeah. Interesting. Let me see your driver and there are already way too many accidents in the city. <laughs> yeah, there really there is. Way too many accidents. Yeah, obviously we need to check his ID, um, see if he has a valid license, if he has a gun permit, what was, uh, what's going on with his, uh, his insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, if something's going wrong, we could fine him or just verbal warning. It's up to you. We don't force you. Yeah, pick it up as well. There's even more. Pick it all up. Wow. Yeah, and we can. Um, we have to. Let me hear what you saw. In order to complete sure the report, mm -hmm. interview every single one of them. Okay. Apparently, he's drunk. I think he just uh, he just said Let he drove normally. And registration, please. I don't Here think he did. <laughs> well, somebody didn't. She could be fine, I guess. And we can do lots of stuff with her, but let's, I guess, walk back to him and see how intoxicated he actually is. He's I can't be at the way station right now. He looks suspicious, let's say. Yep. All right. 
I'm just collecting yeah, a that's the DUI. Go for the alcohol blood. test. Mm. Yeah, way over limit. Yeah. So we can kind of assume that he's at fault. And for that, uh, that's arrest. actually an arrest what? reason. Yep. Um, and now we got shift points, which are the experience points, because we did something. That was just correct, that. right? That was correct. Versus what we did last time. We don't want to do. I need some backup and here. Take a Handcuff to innocent people. Again. We want to do it by the books, damn it. We want to do it by the books. <laughs> so with all the uh, trucks that we see on the highway and all the debris, is that something yeah. that could happen in the city too? Are there trucks down the city? Um, yes. The trucks drive around the city as well. Okay. Um, and they're just roaming around and mm -hmm. you uh, can spot them there. So an accident in the city now might have debris with this DLC? And debris will also happen in the city, yeah. Okay, so there's m even more to do not on the highway. Yeah. Like stuff that's happening on the highway can now also happen inside the highway, mm -hmm. uh, inside the city. Um, and we got to be part of a stone car, I think. <laughs> this town is a mess. Yeah. <laughs> it's. Everyone is a criminal, apparently. Yeah. Okay, but that person, we must put her to the side and ask her. Uh, and now we can have vehicle chases, too. She, yeah. may, she may run. She may run. There is a chance no, that she may that run. I'm a very oh, he's very, oh, she's a very good driver. Okay. Then we don't want to say anything. Yeah, then we're cool. Let's yeah. go out. Wow. Yeah, she's, she's at least cooperating. That's good. License and registration, please. Yes, officer. Let's check ID and insurance. Obviously, that stuff is some, just something that, as, as a patrol officer, that just happens. Yeah, uh, that's you need standard procedure. Most of the time, you're doing paperwork and mm -hmm. checking stuff. Yep. You're not like constantly in action like some movies may right. All right. tell you. It's the, the whole package. The it's the whole alcohol. package. Yeah. She's drunk as well. Oh, God. Okay, we can arrest her again. It's noon, ma'am. It's noon, man. But it's America. I will proceed. Uh, yeah, if, if she's uh, drunk, um, or we have other, like, suspicions, mm -hmm. uh, we can search and frisk them as well. Check what they have. Oh, she has a pocket watch. <gasps> Immediately suspicious. Yeah, she's stealing time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you can't get that back. Can't get that back. Can someone take care of a waste station? Yeah, we don't want to Copy do that. waste station duty. We're busy. Immediately. Um, but yeah, we can arrest her again. Because she's also on the influence of alcohol. We don't support that Please in the city. Don't do that. And there's a lot of, there was a lot of menus there going through for each of the different violations. Yeah. And there's an in-game manual. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a handbook with the rules. Right. Um, and you can refer to that pretty much any time, right? Yeah. Yeah. You have. You, sometimes you have to because mm -hmm. sometimes you can't know all the, like. I know we all did our driver's licenses at some point, but as we talked about yesterday. <laughs> yes. It's different from state to state. That's true. Um, and that's where I have our rule book where we can look up things and see if what's going, what's wrong, what's right. So in this town, are you allowed to make a right on red? Wait, he got a handgun. Uh oh. I have a vehicle. We can be lucky. Wait, did she have her permit? I don't know anymore. Uh oh. I wasn't taken. Or I haven't taken. A little closer look at the, her ID, to be honest. So she's in the back of the van now. She's in the back of the van, and she's. We gotta make sure. Oh, they're entering, and now we're driving away. That's fine. Bye. They're driving away. <laughs> now, at this point, you can also count, call out a, a tow truck then for the vehicle on the side of the road. Yeah. Rather than just leaving it there. That adds yeah. to the justice points or the, the conduct points? Uh, right? um, if you do it justifiably, it will add to the shift points and then uh, you're basically getting rewarded for it if you do that. Yeah, so you can just keep adding more yeah. to it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We have been dip. Driver. Let's go. I don't think, I don't know if we've spotted it yet because sometimes we only have conceit after a while when they noticed us. <laughs> but I guess it's the one in front of us. Roger that. By the way, that one car has terrible yeah, I think that cloud is speeding. Yeah. Okay, I, it's, that's probably them. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, they, oh, they even broke through the roadblock, okay. Wow. They didn't want to mess around, apparently. We need a unit to 
But yeah, and it, um, we need to be a little bit ca more careful in the tunnels, of course, and yep. also check um, if there's someone in front of us because we can request roadblocks, wow. we can do pit maneuvers, and we were about to do that to stop them. Uh, but we need there to it sure. is. Yeah. yeah. We got them. Justice has been served. Police simulator. Mm -hmm. Patrol yeah. officers. Pick up the chase. And that's ready for the an in, like a expansion. small insight into the highway patrol expansion. Um, the full one is uh, one is uh, very extensive, um, and as you can see on the map, like it's it's huge. That's a that's a lot of road to cover. There's a, a lot of road to yeah. cover, and uh, I think driving around it, it took me a while. Really? It I did it once. I think it took me an hour, something like that. But there's also like you see uh, the icons on the mini map. Um, there are like uh, other precincts, there are way stations. Yep. There are like um, motels and diners where stuff can happen uh, because some people might have trouble going on there. Hmm. Um, yeah, but that's we tried to expand it as much as possible. A lot of open road. Yeah, and the highway patrol expansion comes out in summer for all platforms at the same time. Um, there's some stuff we still have to announce oh. uh, and share and show, uh, but that will be happen in the next few weeks. And now we switch over to Construction Simulator 4. Oh, really? And I heard you told me that you've played a lot of it. I've played a lot of Construction Simulator, and now I've played Construction Simulator 4 just today. Oh, you, you actually tried it out? Yep, I did. Oh. But you didn't try it out in co-op, right? Just like on your own. Yeah, for four. But co-op we've done for regular construction sim a lot. Perfect. Yep. Then I just switch over to construction simulator four. Um, this is like one of our most long-standing yeah, series by far. Yeah. Like by far. It's been with us for a while now. Um, we've been with it. I think the first, uh, first game was Construction Simulator 2014. Uh, that was mobile only um, a while ago. Um, and then we released another game for, uh, game for PC. Mm -hmm. And then we have Construction Simulator 2 and 3 on mobile. Um, and we're then very busy with the latest game you just said yep. on PC, uh, PlayStation and Xbox. And as we haven't had a game for mobile for a while, again, we finally have one. Um, and Construction Simulator 4 is releasing on May 28th on Nintendo Switch, iOS, and Android. And what you do, you will see, yeah, we will see it better in the uh, actual gameplay footage, but you lead a construction company, you're the boss. You're the boss. You use, uh, we have only officially licensed machines um, from over 20 manufacturers, and you build up huge projects, also smaller projects, um, in more than 100 missions, like, over the course of the series, we have stuff like amusement parks, oh, really? uh, a spaceport, an airfield, but also like a garden or a garage. It's all kind of in there. Um, and the news title is set in Canada, and we have, that's good for you probably, multiplayer on Switch and mobile for the very first time ever. Really? It was only a single player game until then. Yeah, and very lonely. Very lonely, yeah. Plus, we also have like some other uh, highly requested changes over the years. And as I said, uh, licensed partners are incredibly important to us, uh, and we're working with yeah, quite a few um, for Construction Simulator 4, from Caterpillar to Kenworth, which probably all of you have seen at some point, uh, also like German MAN or Bobcat um, or Liebherr, they're all in here. Mm -hmm. um, and I think new is Cifa, Dev, and Scania for this title. Uh, so they are our new partners for this game. Very nice. Should we switch to the gameplay? Let's do it. Let's go. Got to find the right one. Uh, there we go. Where do you think we are? Uh, this is definitely Canada. <laughs> <laughs> that I can say, yeah. Yeah, I can tell because it's flat. Um, what are we making? Is this a parking lot? Um, no, it's a Wendy's. We're, we're building a Wendy's. It must be a Wendy's. Yeah. No, it's actually... Um, the law is of this mission, you get it before you start the mission. It's the burnt down area of the Maritime Museum of the city. You don't see much of it anymore, and you had to remove all of the stuff that has been there. Um, 
Also a little demolition before a little construction. Yeah, basically. Uh, not, not from our side, but we we moved it. I see. That way. Uh, we just compacted soil already on the ground because we need to lay the foundation again. And now we have to get some concrete for the gravel pit. Mm -hmm. um, we need to wreck the building basically up to its former glory. And oh, so we're doing a rebuild? We're doing a rebuild. Okay. That stuff will we're be upgrading. Modernized. It will be upgraded Big upgrade. so much. Fast traveling. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, let's get the extension out. And then we have to pour concrete into that. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, you need to cast the foundation. I mean, uh, do you live in an apartment or a house? A house. Um, have you like have you seen construction work going on yourself or at some point? Like the machines, how stuff is going on? Yeah, plenty of times. Yep. I'm always amazed because I could possibly not do that myself, obviously. And the way they like micromanage the machines, mm -hmm. almost like you've seen them being so precise with something they control 100 meters yeah, that's above right. the ground. And that's always impressive. And Well, that was um, fast. That was fast, because obviously we don't want to uh, leave you here for hours and doing that. That's um, a solid foundation right there. It's a solid foundation. Yeah, we have like three parts, basically. We need oh, to right. So we had two Different done. phases of the Different mission. phases, yeah. yeah. Um, the missions are basically split into phases, mm -hmm. uh, different ones. Um, and for every phase, you can uh, you get a reward. Uh, yeah, each money. mission has tasks, and then those tasks are different phases. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's right. Uh, you can skip them if you want, if like if they're cumbersome. Yeah, because like not everyone tedious. wants to do everything. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you don't have the equipment for it. And yeah. uh, you can always rent, though. You can you always, don't always have to yeah. buy. So you can do everything, or you can do if you just want to do excavation, you can do that too. Yeah. So it does allow you to make your own. The good thing about co-op and multiplayer is obviously you can split the tasks. Yep, that's right. And maybe things can uh, be much faster if you have like two cranes, for example, instead of only one. Yeah, you can always plan ahead too by having somebody go to get these things before yeah. you even start the construction. Yeah. Now we have to get the wood ourselves because we need the wood for the construction site. So we need to yeah. get it from the building material dealer. Yep. Um, and then once we brought it back to, yeah, once we brought it here, you need to unload it. The unload zones there are mm -hmm. predefined, right. so you know where to do put them. And we are so precise. And this is good because when you deliver this stuff, it'll be out of the way from the other tasks that you have to do. Yeah. Things will move around, so it, it's certainly right. helpful. Also, we have prefab uh, walls into position with the big crane. Nice. And they made of what? Like, isn't that typical? Like in the US and Canada, obviously. Very, very much, very much. Oh, okay. Because I'm from Europe, we just do concrete uh, over concrete. <laughs> yeah. So we're not that much involved into wood houses. Um, I think maybe the skeleton often out of wood, I guess, but then just putting in concrete from the sides and mm -hmm. so on. I think here you're basically really like to just put on full on wood houses. Yeah. A lot of buildings are constructed of wood. Now, what you see is here obviously a leaper crane. Um, they are very detailed. Um, because we work very closely with the manufacturers um, and obviously some are very eager to have them in the game mm -hmm. and also eager to see them in the closest detail possible. Right. Um, every single texture needs to be correct uh, because it resembles real life for them and, and also for us and we want to be close because we have like fans from all over the world and people who are really into big trucks and big machines and other stuff and they want to see them. Um, Damn. Every button needs to be correct. Who's playing this? I got to get them on my team. Is your team not that good? Uh, we, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk. You seem like you're traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of concrete I've had to pour in this game is refreshing to see prefab wood panels being put in. And it's always fun to use the crane. I like the crane, even though I think I like the mobile crane more. Really? Uh, the mobile crane um, is something I just found to be much more fun. It is something we'll use a lot too in multiplayer because typically you can only have one tower crane and then yeah. you can have someone else on the road with the mobile crane, which is fun to use too, since you can put it where you want. You could be more flexible that way. That's right. 
Uh, yeah, I, actually, I was always the mobile crane driver, and my friend was one with the, um, I think he had a caterpillar crane mm -hmm. uh, going on. Um, but I think we have three different manufacturers right now on the ground. So they're all working together. Mm -hmm. While they're competitors, they're still friends in the game. <laughs> That's right. But Here's we're almost the last done. Piece, yep. Oh, it's exciting. Oh, I didn't get to see it. You robbed. don't get to see it. All right, get the police simulator people in here. <laughs> we need to arrest the yeah. person who played that. That's right. It's been a crime. No, I think, yeah, we, we drove to the steel mill, um, but we skipped that for the video because we'd just be driving there mm -hmm. for minutes and then going back. Yep. Um, you can get stuff delivered to the site itself, but it costs. Right. And if you think economically, I don't know how you do things in the game. Horribly. 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 Yeah. Oh. You're spending all the money to get stuff delivered? <laughs> no, we actually, like, uh, we'll fast travel. We'll load it onto trucks, but then typically fast travel things. Mm. But it is nice to have the option, depending on who you're playing with. There are people who really like to just drive. Mm -hmm. um, and there's the whole realistic traffic and a light system, right? Uh, so yeah. you can simulate going through all the traffic lights just to deliver lumber or... Yeah, Some logs and or depending it where it is on the map, it mm -hmm. can take oh, yeah. a long time. Yeah. Oh, great, accounting. <laughs> you need to make sure you don't... Got to pay those bills. Them. Otherwise, you need to take, take a credit. Oh, yeah. And you don't want to get your credit uh, score reduced. You never want to. But we are... I think that's... Is that the last one? The crane is flying, yeah. It looks like the last beam is being put in. Yeah. After that... Hell yeah. That felt rewarding. That is a good feeling when you get that rewarding uh, task complete music. Yeah. I think now, just to the columns, I guess. Or oh, snid. Are these the beams? These are the beams. Like the other ones were the columns, and these are the beams. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I call by. So again, you had to go back to the steel mill, pick those up, and more than yeah. likely, or, or it's all part of the first delivery. Yeah. But you got it. you can do this by hand. I mean, you see the truck, time. how long it is. Mm -hmm. That stuff is huge. You couldn't put possibly just bring it with you by hand. Mike was on. He's strong? Hmm? He's strong? No. Oh, last one. But in... What do you think about Canada? And do you think that's like something you always wanted to visit? Yeah, I've really wanted to visit Canada. There's a lot of similarities, but differences in construction and whatnot. They use that, uh, what's that non-freedom unit? Metric? Yeah, that one. Yeah, they use that. The good one. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, I accidentally had the, um, I think, I think it was a later. In um, Imperial units, and I was lost. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we're adding another. Oh, we're adding the, the, the roof on now. Yeah, now it's time for the roof. I think that's not now the wooden beams. We also got that from the uh, building material dealer. Okay, yeah. Um, and that may have been from before, even before. Mm. But sometimes you have to go back to the building dealer multiple times. Yeah. Or you could do it all at the start. But these are different beams. Like, we have shorter beams and longer beams, mm -hmm. I think. Now we have to put on the smaller beams. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you put these. Yeah. And you can also rotate those. You don't have to just snap them. So there, there is, there's a lot of options for how intricate you want the construction to be when you build it. Exactly. And you can save and come back later, which is always great because some of these projects that we've done, uh, especially with the space expansion DLC for construction sim, I mean, we've dug holes for like three or four three-hour live streams, just excavating, moving dirt out of there, and uh, it's very satisfying to, to dig in this series. These are the stuff I honestly try to skip. Uh, really? I, I'm not skipping them, I'm just fast-forwarding them, uh, because you can uh, select a detail, uh, like grade of detail. Oh, that's true. You yeah. can also, in a way, adjust the difficulty. Yeah, ex exactly. So you can do that, what, what's it called, job scope? Um, and then it, uh, if you yeah. set it to high, it takes a lot longer, but you make a lot it more money. It takes a lot longer. If and you, if you kind of um, put up with doing one difficult mission the hard way, you will get a lot of money from that. 
and then you can basically buy all your equipment. Oh yeah, you get more money. Yeah, you, you get a lot exactly. more money. Yeah. The thing is, at some point we were so rich. We're like, we have so much money. Why yeah. should we do it ourselves now? If the, if someone else can do it for us, a subcontractor maybe. Yeah, can't someone else do it? I don't wanna. But is that the last one? That looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. Our task completed. And we're very close to getting rich. Oh, well, what are we putting up uh, there now? Claddings? I think we need to put on claddings on there. Are they on this side though? Yeah, they're already here. Okay, we have them. Oh yeah, they're down in the storage. We don't need to get to the material dealer again. But it's only four, thankfully. Yeah, that's true. I see only two there. Th those other two could be part of a next step. Um, they might be Honestly, on the other side. They could be too, yeah. I think they're just on the other side. Mm -hmm. That seems a little unsafe. I don't think that's up to code. You're going to have to check with Canon on that. I'm afraid they're falling down in a bit. <laughs> but thankfully we don't have any other uh, construction workers down there. That's true. Us. Just us. It's just us because we all have to do this stuff for ourselves in the end. Yeah, that's true. We get, don't get any help. But that's obviously like on two different sides. Now a second crane would be very helpful. That's true. But we said they only have one. Now does this also have like uh, telehandlers and uh, maybe like a wheel loader that has pallet forks that can move that into position too? There could be other options to put that on top of the... Yeah, I mean there are a lot of machines. Yeah. Um, and we obviously... We try to make sure that we have uh, machines for every single task you can imagine. Mm -hmm. um, Including forklifts to physically load all that stuff from the building material dealer onto a flatbed or use the, the, the crane that comes with the truck. Oh yeah, the, the crane which picks it up mm -hmm. and uh, loads it onto the truck itself. Yeah. yeah. I like that one because it's like so snappy and yeah. it unfolds in... Well, it, it, yeah, and it feels really good with the uh, Nintendo Switch controller because the you know, it, driving is one thing, but I think one of the best things you can do in, in this game series is use a controller to control cranes. It's much better. Yeah. Um, I had, I have been playing it on uh, keyboard and mouse for a mm -hmm. long time. Then I was forced to play it with controller, and it felt much smoother. Yeah, it's, it's it much more satisfying. It, it, so <laughs> it feels like those uh, claw games. Okay, there that's you go. the last one. Last one. I think then. We need to remove our stuff from uh, the area. The vehicles, yep. Yeah, because we can possibly stand around there. Um, and our job would be pretty much done afterwards, mm -hmm. because um, the major stuff's done. The major stuff is done mm -hmm. because we don't want you uh, you to. I mean, you are one company, and there are different companies for different tasks. Right, exactly. We're setting up the foundation here. Yep. This is at least in, in this construction side. This is our job. Someone else will take over the other side. Yeah, there it is. Lightning Bay is going to be happy. Apparently, yes. The museum <laughs> is back. Oh, yeah. We need to clear the area. Slowly but steadily. And then everything can either be reset or you can put them back in your vehicle hall, too. Yeah. Which is nice, yeah. And your vehicle and hall can be very full mm -hmm. at some point. Let's make sure everything is correct. We move the stuff out of here. Oh yeah, close that down as well for safety. Yep, cut off traffic, perfect. <laughs> and the building is finished. Wow. It looks beautiful. It does. Much more modern than it was before. Before it was nothing. It looks and really nice. Yeah. We don't know how it, was, uh, how it looked like exactly, because the people before us already cleaned that up. Yeah. But probably looks still much better now. It's an upgrade. Oh, yeah. We got the money now, basically. And uh, we are very rich now. <laughs> Time for a vacation. Oh, yeah. But that's Construction Simulator 4 um, for uh, Switch, iOS, and Android coming in May 28th. Um, and there's still some stuff we have to announce. More secrets? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, but it's out. Um, we are very excited to ship it soon, and the community response so far has been very great. Good. 
And now we head over to the other construction simulator. Oh, yeah. As I said, please don't confuse by the naming. Um, they're called construction simulator and construction simulator four, even though construction simulator came after construction simulator three. Mm -hmm. Don't get confused. Um, and we'll quickly have a recap of the last one and a half years, I think, of this game. Um, and what's happened in the last year and what's going to happen next year. Okay. Have you seen it already? The two-year pass I have. Okay. Some of the things to come. Then let's go. Yeah, um, Collection Simulator, it released like in uh, September 2022 um, for PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. So it's been here for a while. And it has by far been our biggest project yet uh, in the series. Um, I mean, you've seen the scale. Like, we have more than 80 machines, uh, more than 25 brands, and two maps. Yes. America and Europe. Uh, have you which one? Have you played both? Both. Yep. Which one was your favorite? Uh, probably Europe because of the autumn setting. Oh yeah. It it, it is in autumn. Uh, I liked Europe as well more because of the idyllic thing. It was very idyllic in a way. Mm -hmm. um, and I could feel that it blended a lot of Europe together. Yeah. More I think than the American map, which felt more like West Coast. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was definitely West Coast. I liked the vibes though. It was very sunny and friendly and so on. Yeah. But they were, they were very distinctive. Clear um, and beautiful days, but Europe had a lot of uh, Prague and oh, London yeah. and some other feels to it, which, which I liked. But they both have a very extensive campaign. Um, you can spend quite a while on both campaigns. True. Uh, and they vary quite a bit, even though you are doing some of the same projects. Mm -hmm, Parking definitely. lots in both locations have different materials and different sizes. And you have also side missions, of course. Yep. And the side missions also grant you more money and so on. Ooh, that's right, all the new customization for vehicle painting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've uh, introduced a few DLCs by now. Um, also, I've like, shipped quite a few free updates uh, yes. over the year um, because we want, don't want to sell everything. We just want to give back stuff that we think is cool to the people. Um, and in the year, year one season pass, we had... Um, seven new DLCs. Really? Um, they were all part of the uh, season pass, including the JCB pack, um, uh, the Sandy pack. Oh, yes. That used 50 machines, and Sandy has been requested by people for a while now. And you see the va variety, like, variety is huge, like, from excavators to cranes to... Uh, uh, to the mobile crane. Yeah. Someone loved them. I'm in love with mobile Even cranes. more of those now. Oh, yeah. We also have the airfield expansion, um, where you build your own airport with the tower and the hangars. And the hangars. Yep. And, and you have to just demolish some of the old buildings that were there before, too, mm. in the European map. So some demolition and moving things out of there. And the spaceport expansion. That one, probably my favorite, because it's also set in South America, so a completely new region, basically. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, with Different vibes, like it looks completely different as well. Yeah, um, it feels different too. You're not. Yeah. There's not major cities. You are in a major location. Yeah. And that the, the building that up that infrastructure was just very cool. It is. And very satisfying. It is. Yeah, we also had like uh, some helmets and stickers and some cosmetic packs which we shipped uh, alongside the season pass just as a goodie because we thought we were, we're like, don't people like customization? I they guess, do. yeah. They do. Let's bring let's bring her with us. Yeah, we also have JCB pack. Uh, JCB also requested for a while by the people. And there's the telehandler. There's the telehandler. Very nice. We had an event with them uh, in the UK. Mm. Uh, and they invited us to their um, HQ. Mm -hmm. And we were able to drive the machines ourselves. Oh, really? That was very cool. Lucky. Oh, there's the rocket assembly. Oh, yeah. And the Kramer pack, I think that came in 2022 with three machines. Including, I think, the telescope, uh, telescopic handler actually was introduced for the very first time with that DLC. Mm. So that was the first time we had that. Man, there's so many ways to mix and match all the, for different projects yeah. too. And not only equipment's huge; some of it's smaller for the smaller scale projects. Yeah. If you're playing solo or want to do more suburban things that don't require the massive excavators. Exactly. I like that. I, I just like don't cry. It. Don't I know? I feel I feel like crying too. I like this. I, I like the spaceport so just, much. Just hold it in. Just <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful location. 
I just want, at some point, I hope you get an entire uh, campaign in South America. Mm. Uh, obviously, I don't know yet, but there's so many regions we still want to discover. Like, I mean, imagine something Australia or like... That would uh, be great. Asia. Mm -hmm. There's stuff that... And it would fit some of those other brands, too, that oh, are from yeah. those locations, yeah. Oh, windmills, too? So uh, much to do. Yeah, windmills, I think that's also part of the main campaign. Mm -hmm. I think in I think so, yeah. I think in Europe, right? I'm not sure. I think. Yep. Oh, and the, uh, the pier, uh, Ferris wheel assembly, very nice. And building dream homes, look at that. Oh. Uh oh. oh. And you have your He's going to get pulled over. Yeah. He's getting pulled over. He's getting pulled over by the police officers. Yeah. Hopefully not from being drunk, mm -hmm. like the others were. Oh, the other town's a mess. It's a mess. They were all drunk. This town, they're, they're building the future. Don't get to Brighton. Yeah, Only get to... Um, wait, what's the one? Uh, Sunny Haven and Friedenberg. Oh, they had names? They had names. The uh, American one was Sunny Haven. Kind of fits the lo location. Right. And Friedenberg uh, actually just basically means um, Mountain of Peace. Really? Yeah. It's German. <laughs> it yeah. sure is. But what's next? Um, we have released the season pa year two season pass a few weeks ago um, with the content coming over the next few months but we have kind of already yeah let's say revealed in a way what's coming even though it's not all much detailed yet because we have like one big campaign yeah um, which will be set in the uh, in the EU map so mm -hmm. it's just joining Europe um, we have one new brand which I can't spoil yet with mm -hmm. six machines um, that's a lot. Hopefully something for you as well. Some new toys to play with. Excavators. Excellent. Confirmed. You want the excavator? I do. I guess so. Uh, with the Leapad pack coming very soon. Details to be announced in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a sneak peek because we haven't showed that yet. This will be in there and I hope you're excited because Leapad is such a huge brand. Yeah. And with all the new things to go with it too. Exactly. We also have a cosmetic pack. Um, and another new machine pack, but these are for end of this year and beginning of next year. And that's construction simulator and what's going the on future. The building, future building the future construction simulator. Yeah. What do you think? What uh, what are you like, excited for for construction simulator and police simulator? Well, the new DLCs are. Uh, Certainly a step in the right direction. The year two pack with the new map is great. And then also the expansion for Police Simulator with the new things to do mm -hmm. in the old city. And the new like highway area looks good with the way stations. Definitely. Yeah, very excited. Um, we have actually some questions from the community because we asked them before. Mm -hmm. and, and we want to give a shout out to them because they have supported us for years now. Um, They've been with us for a long time, especially police simulator people um, playing the game for, like some people have played the game for three years now. Mm -hmm. And some people have played it extensively. And we have seen some of them here. Um, and I will quickly get to the questions because we asked them before. And see what we can answer. You want to read it out? Are we getting trooper hats? Sadly, no. Oh. Sadly, no trooper hats. Um, that's not going to happen uh, because we want to keep that uniform, you know? We yep. want to have that... Uh, the standard police hat. That's a standard police hat. Mm -hmm. You can put it off, by the way. Have you t done that? I, I do know you can do that, yep. I never have my hat on no, because uh, I don't like hats in real life. Oh, really? I don't like them. Then... Uh, did the tra traffic AI get improvements? I really like the game, but... You know that there's major things to be fixed. Um, that's actually a valid concern because we had uh, AI is difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, traffic AI especially is difficult because it has like, yeah, basically adjust to your things and you can do things very spontaneously and very rushed and yeah. uh, it's not that easy. But actually, with the highway patrol expansion, um, we've shipped some improvements already. Uh, with the last update and with the patrol expansion we are shipping for example improved lane switching behavior oh. which also makes the car chases much more fluid yep. uh, and uh, fun and I'm very excited for that because otherwise you know things could be very difficult um, 
Uh, can we sit and run the radar and then go after the vehicle? Um, if they're speeding, I mean, of course. Mm -hmm. Like, still there, there's a speed limit uh, in some areas, and you obviously have to uh, make sure that, that they are following it. So you can use the radar from the vehicle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, no, not inside the vehicle, but outside of it. Oh, you have to be outside? Yeah. Okay. Um, then I also had like, a question from, uh, from one of the Construction Simulator uh, fans, and they've been asking me, um, asking us, mm -hmm. which new machines we have. I think we answered it. I think it's, uh, I want to showcase it again. I think it will be Scania for yeah. the first time. Big brand, um, huge in many areas. The AF, and uh, I think it's pronounced Cifa or Cypher. How do you pronounce that? Uh, it could be Cypher, yeah. Cypher? Maybe. Yeah. I'm not that good with... I've never heard of that before. I have them, uh, but I, you know, you only, only read the names. Mm -hmm. You never really speak them out, so, yeah. But that's basically it um, for now. We have more stuff to announce in the next few weeks and months. And thank you very much for joining. Thank you much, very much for tuning in. And we all wish you lots of amazing moments here at PAX just like we will have, probably. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you.